Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. And we have n to the power of 12 minus 1 equals to 0. And we solve this problem for the values of n. So here we find all the 12th roots of this given equation. So that the very first thing we are going to do is we write n to the power of 12 as n to the power of 6 and its whole square minus 1 square equals to 0. And here we use the square identity and we write it as n to the power of 6 minus 1 times of n to the power of 6 plus 1 equals to 0. So here we divide this question in two cases. So our first case is we write n to the power of 6 minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write n to the power of 6 plus 1 equals to 0 and we call this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. So now we solve these two equations. So first we solve equation number 1. So equation number 1 we have n to the power of 6 minus 1 equals to 0. And now we write n to the power of 6 as n cubed and its whole square minus 1 square equals to 0. So here we again use the square identity and we write it as n cubed minus 1 times of n cubed plus 1 equals to 0. So we again divide this equation in two cases so our first case is we write n cubed minus 1 equals to 0 and n cubed plus 1 equals to 0 and now in the next step we use here the both of cubic formulas so our first in this case we use the cubic formula and it is equals to n minus 1 times of n square plus n plus 1 equals to 0 and similarly here we use the positive cubic formula and it will becomes n plus 1 times of n square minus n plus 1 equals to 0 and here uh, we have the two possibilities the first is n minus 1 equals to 0 and the second possibility is n square plus n plus 1 equals to 0 and similarly in this case we have again two possibilities the first is n plus 1 equals to 0 and the second possibility is n square minus n plus 1 equals to 0 so that here we have four possibilities so in the first case we have n equals to 1 and in this case we have n equals to minus 1 and now we focus on this quadratic equation and this quadratic equation so we use here the quadratic formula in order to solve these two quadratic equations so that first we write the coefficients of both of these equations and we have the coefficient of this equation are a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to 1 and we use the quadratic formula in this case n equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a and now we put the values of a b and c in this equation and we get n equals to minus b and the value of b is 1 so it will becomes minus 1 plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac becomes 4 divided by 2 and in now we focus on the second case and in this case first we write the coefficients of this equation and we have a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 1 and we have n equals to we put all these values in this quadratic formula and we get this is minus b and the value of b is minus 1 it will becomes plus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 times of ac and it will be equals to 4 divided by 2a and a equals to 1. So here you get n equals to 1 plus minus 
square root of minus 3 divided by 2. And now in the next step, here you have n equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 square root divided by 2 and here you have n equals to 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2. So that now we uh, you know that if we have negative sign inside the square root it will becomes iota. So we write it as minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and in that case n equals to 1 plus minus square root of 3 times of iota divided by 2. So that this will becomes the 4 roots of the given equation and these 4 roots are the complex roots. And we are find the other 2 roots are real roots which is n equals to 1 and minus 1. So we write it here. We have 2 real roots n equals to plus minus 1. So we first find these six roots and now we move towards equation number two. So here we write from equation number two. And here we have equation number two is n to the power of six plus one equals to zero. So we find the other six roots from here. It is n to the power of six plus one equals to zero. And now we again write this equation as n square and its whole cubed plus 1 cubed equals to 0 and we use here the cubic formula and we get n square plus 1 times of n square and its whole square minus n square and plus 1 and this whole equals to 0. So here we use the positive cubic formula and it is equals to if you have a cube plus b cube it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square. So here we have again two cases the first is we write it as n square plus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write it as n square and its whole square minus n square plus 1 equals to 0. So in this case you get the value of n square equals to minus 1 and when we take the square root on both of the sides then you get n equals to plus minus iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And now we move towards this case and in this case first we convert this equation into the quadratic form so that here we take y equals to n square. So when we substitute y equals to n square, it will become y square minus y plus 1 equals to 0. So here we use the quadratic formula which is y equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. And now we put the coefficients of this equation here. And here we write the coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 1. So these are the three coefficients of this equation. We put these values here and we get y equals to minus b and you have b is negative. So it will become plus 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 divided by 2. And when we simplify these terms, then we get it minus square root 3 over 2. And here we substitute the value of y, we take it here, y equals to n square. So when we put the value here, you get n square equals to 1 plus minus square root of 3. And this negative sign will become iota divided by 2. And now we again take the square root on both of the sides of this equation. And we get n equals to plus minus square root of 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2. So this equation gives us the fourth complex roots and this equation gives the two complex roots. So in the second case we again get the four complex roots. So these are the total twelfth root of the given equation and this is the final answer. 
एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर एक्साइटिंग वीडियोज़